cichlids hold fertilized eggs in their mouth. Cichlids are from the large fish family called cichlidae, which includes tilapia and angelfish. When they reproduce, the male puts the fertilized eggs in his mouth, which is where they stay until hatching. This process is called mouth brooding. The male fish is unable to eat at this time. Sometimes the female fish will carry the fertilized eggs in her mouth, or the male and female will trade off, which is called biparental mouth brooding. Typically fish that are born via mouth brooding are underweight at first and require recovery time to feed and grow. The cuckoo catfish forces others to raise its young. The cuckoo catfish engages in a chaotic game of cannibalism to give birth. The catfish use the mouth of the cichlid to harbor her eggs. The cuckoo catfish will actually swim over and lay an egg in the mouth of a cichlid for her to carry. While this is happening, the male cichlid dives in to fertilize what he thinks are the female cichlid's eggs but are actually the cuckoo catfish's eggs. All of this happens in a few seconds. Because the cuckoo catfish eggs grow and hatch faster than the remaining of the cichlid's eggs, the newborns often eat the cichlid's own eggs. Australian spider wasps have a slightly disturbing birthing process. To reproduce, the spider wasp first injures a huntsman spider to the point of paralysis. Then the wasp then lays its egg in the huntsman spider's stomach. The wasp waits for the egg to gestate and hatch. Then as the egg hatches, the wasp devours the spider entirely. Marsupial babies are born in an embryonic state. Marsupials don't have placenta like most mammals, and marsupial babies only gestate for about a month. Then they are born in an embryonic state. Although their eyes and ears are hardly mature at this stage, their nose, mouth, and front limbs are developed enough to climb into their mother's pouch where they continue growing. Young marsupials depend heavily on their mother's milk to flourish. Male seahorses give birth. The seahorse is a member of the Syngnetidae family of fish, which has over 300 species. To reproduce, the female seahorse leaves her eggs in the male seahorse's brood pouch where the eggs are fertilized. Sometimes the eggs are attached to the male's tail instead. After about 20 days, the male gives birth to more than 1,000 tiny seahorses.